Hi everybody, it's Sandy and welcome to Cooking with Crochet A. Uh, I'm going to teach you today how to make my secret recipe for cheesecake minis. Now usually I use um, graham crackers to do the crust for my minis, but today I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use Tender Flake mini cups. Now these are mini mini. Like usually I'll just use the regular ones, but I screwed up and bought the wrong ones. <laughs> so these are really, really mini. I mean, really, really mini. <laughs> but that's okay. It will still work. Okay, so now what we're gonna need is some lemon juice. You can use real lemons or you can just use uh, the bottle of lemon juice. We need pure vanilla extract. We need two eggs, sour cream, some white sugar, and the star of our show, cream cheese. Okay, and if you have a KitchenAid blender, all the better. If you don't, you can use a hand mixer and it will work just fine. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, well, no, actually the very first thing you want to do is you want to put your oven on to 325 and let that warm up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your minis into your little pan. Now you can put it on a cookie sheet if you want and just let them sit until you're ready for them. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is you're going to make no well, you're going to make your filling so you're going to put both boxes of cream cheese into your mixer now i like to use this attachment at first because it's really um really thick and <clears throat> excuse me and you have to really um, mix the cream cheese because it comes in a big block so you just take it out of the package okay so you're just going to take your cream cheese and pop it in there Now I like to let my cream cheese um, soften a little bit, so just leave it out for you know maybe half an hour or so, and uh, and just let it soften a little bit. It'll make your life so much easier. Okay. And of course Bailey's just waiting. She's going, please drop some, please drop some. Okay. Now you're going to put in a half a cup of sugar. any white sugar. So there's half a cup. I'm going to dump that right in. And then you're going to put in some lemon juice and you're going to put in about two tea, two tables, no teaspoons, two teaspoons because lemon juice is very potent. Of course I didn't get out my little things here. Oops, where's my teaspoon? There we go. Okay, so you're gonna go one, two. Oops, a little bit more, that's okay. The lemon juice gives the cream cheese a really nice flavor. Okay, now you're gonna put in a pinch of salt. So. I put in about this. Now I'm using Himalayan sea salt, but you can use regular table salt if you want. Okay, well let's give this a mix. I'm gonna just let this mix for a while.
Okay, now you're gonna put in a teaspoon of your vanilla. Okay. Ooh, that's looking good already. Now, if you want to, you can put in a little bit of clove powder or cinnamon powder, whichever one, or both, if you wanted to. gonna stop it and you're going to get all the cream cheese out of your mixing part here just so that it all gets mixed in and scrape your bowl <laughs> oh doesn't that look good already okay, okay. Now you're just going to keep on mixing it. So it's oops, really thick and creamy like that. Then you're going to start adding your eggs and you're going to do one at a time. Now put it on low so your egg doesn't go splattering all over the place. Now, if you're not used to cracking eggs, I suggest that you crack them in a bowl first so you don't get egg um, shells in there. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit and let that mix. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. You're going to crack the next one. Just gonna let that mix together. Now you can turn that off and take a look. Scrape your mixer. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna just scrape your sides. Mix it all in. Okay. Now you're going to put in your cream cheese. Now you're going to want a, um, a quarter of a cup of cream cheese. Or not cream cheese, sour cream, sorry. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. That up. All right. Now the consistency of this should be, you know, thick but not too thick. Okay. Now it's ready to go into your cups. Don't these look delicious already? Uh, okay, word of caution. Do not lick your spoon. As much as it is going to be inviting, don't do it. Because you have raw eggs in here, you know, and bacteria and all that kind of stuff. So please don't. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to tap my pan on the counter so that everything goes down to the bottom and then you know if you need to top it up at all. So loud noises, I'll turn the volume down for this. Okay, that one's pretty good. And then we'll do this one. Okay, we did pretty good. So I don't think we have to worry too much about it now. Okay, now your oven's set and you're ready to go. So you're gonna pop these into the oven until they're golden brown. 
Um, with, with these mini minis, I'm not too sure how long it's going to take. Because uh, I haven't used these minis before. So we'll just have to wing it. And um, I think my cream cheese cakes usually take an hour. So these may be eh, half an hour-ish, but like I said, just keep an eye on them and make sure that it's all golden brown. And uh, we'll be back when they are done. Okay, so I started doing this and realized I wasn't filming it. <laughs> okay, so this is what the tarts look like when they are cooked. They will be cracked, it's okay, no problem, because we are going to take some jam and scoop it in. And that's all we're doing. We're just taking a little bit of jam, popping it in the middle, just like that. You can use whatever you want to garnish this, if you, if you so choose. In the summertime, I usually put a few pieces of fruit on the top of it, just to make it look pretty. Okay. And then I have some frozen blueberries here. Just take your blueberries or your raspberries or your whatever and just pop it right on there. have it my mini cheesecake recipe yum 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 so thanks for joining me I hope you'll come and join me for my other tutorials and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I will have lots more to come thanks for watching bye Thank you.